What's up guys? Good morning. I am coming to you from my car. Uh, it is the day after Thanksgiving and I'm actually about to go to my shopping plaza to do a little bit of Black Friday shopping. Not like the crazy kind of Black Friday shopping, but yet I am going out. Uh, I'm going to go to Home Depot. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Home Depot typically on Black Friday has a sale on poinsettias in the garden section. Uh, they used to be a dollar. I think uh, in the past couple years the prices have gone up on those. They might be two dollars. I'll, re I'll report back on that. And uh, I might go to Kohl's. I have my Kohl's flyer here um, with a, what is it, 15% off they're doing? Not great. Not great, Bob. That's not the greatest sale. But I'm going to see how it is once I get in the shopping plaza. It's early. I'm definitely going to Home Depot. I do this every year and get the plants. And if I see that the rest of the shopping plaza looks decent, I will go to Kohl's. But if not, I'm just going to come home. So I haven't vlogged in a while. This is Thanksgiving week. I hosted Thanksgiving at my house yesterday. So uh, it's been a busy week. I've been uh, up to my uh, eyeballs in like preparations and getting ready. And it was a lot of fun. Super fun. I had a great time. I love Thanksgiving. My daughter's home from college. It was really awesome. I love hosting it at my house. I love making all the food and, you know, putting out my table settings and all that stuff. I just really love it. So it was a lot of fun. But it was a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> My kitchen still looks like a bomb went off, so much to uh, do as far as cleanup still. I did a lot of cleanup last night, but I did leave some things to do today, so yeah, I've got a full day ahead of me. Let's see what we get up to. like to get gift boxes when they buy clothing. They used to give out boxes when you purchase clothing at stores like this. They don't anymore, but I did notice they were selling these boxes of gift boxes at Kohl's. They had one display with the white boxes like you see here, and then there was another display that had boxes that had like a print on them. And right above that are the gift card holders. So you have something to put your gift card in, and these are available if you want to purchase them. Unfortunately, they do not just give them away complimentary anymore. Okay, I'm back. Uh, that was pretty cool. I have not been Black Friday shopping before today in probably like uh, 10 years. I just don't typically go out on this day. Usually I work. Um, I took today off and I... It wasn't that bad, I have to say. I think that Black Friday shopping has peaked. I think that it was... The evolution of this has been changing over the years where it was like a lot of people shopped on this day. And then retailers started opening earlier and earlier. And then it was like the 6 a.m.s and the 5 a.m.s. And then it was like the midnight the night before. And I think that peaked and it is now on the decline where it's just not that busy anymore. I think a lot of the retailers just hold their sales earlier and earlier and they start days before there's really no need to come out for special things just for today i think the one day exclusive things don't really happen as much anyway i did get my point set is at home depot so they used to be a dollar 99 cents whatever years ago i've i always go there every year on black friday to get point set is and you i used to buy like six or eight of them and pay like eight dollars now they are a dollar 98 so the price has gone up on this man i'm telling you Inflation is no joke when they talk about, huh, poinsettias in this economy. <laughs> right. Um, and then I went to Kohl's, and Kohl's was pretty good. They actually had, like, a lot in Kohl's. If I was into really, like, shopping and, like, had a list, I would have bought a lot more stuff. I think the key to Black Friday shopping, Christmas shopping in general, is you can't just, like, go out and be like, what, what's out here? You have to be prepared mentally. You have to have a list. You have to have given some thought and consideration to who are you shopping for, what do they want. Like for example, just now I saw they had hoodies on sale for $12.99. It's a pretty good price for hoodies. But like who 
would I, who am I buying that for? I haven't really thought about that yet. So I don't want to just randomly like scoop up things because it's a deal. It's a deal with no plan or an idea formed about who I'm giving that to. Is that an appropriate gift for that person? So, uh, and I haven't done that kind of thoughtfulness or planning right at, up to this point. I just, you know, haven't, I will. Um, but I haven't like put that kind of thought or, or time into like thinking about what I want to buy people and who I'm shopping for and just putting some intentionality behind it. Buzzword. So, um, one of the things I wanted was a new knife set and they had this really nice Hankel's knife set, like, you know, the kitchen block of knives uh, for a regular price. I think it was one forty nine, and the sale price was one twenty nine. So I don't feel like that was like a doorbuster Black Friday sale. I mean, I don't think it was intended to be, but yeah, I, I think that's not a great sale. So I didn't end up getting them. I got some other kitchen stuff that I needed for myself, not Christmas shopping, just things I needed. Um, doing Thanksgiving and putting together Thanksgiving yesterday and like the preparation the couple of days leading up to it kind of made me notice some things in my kitchen that are worn out or need to be replaced or aren't great and um, yeah, so that's it it's like 10 o'clock and I'm done I mean I literally have only been shopping for a little over an hour and I've been to Home Depot Kohl's and Target so I'm like in and out of these stores super fast I'm not you know, wandering around. And when I was in Target, I got myself a Starbucks from the Starbucks inside the Target. I was going to go to the real Starbucks, but I was like, why not? I'm here. I had a reward. This was free. Yum. Chestnut praline latte, almond milk, no whip. Now I'm going to head home. Hey, so now I am downtown at my local Trader Joe's. So a couple months ago, I think it was in September, I did a video where I came to Trader Joe's and checked out a lot of what they had out for fall treats and snacks, like the pumpkin spice cookies and everything. So I thought I would do a similar thing today where I come down and I check out what they have for Christmas treats and things like that. I figure instead of pumpkin spice, I'll probably see a lot of gingerbread flavors, some peppermint flavors, and see what they have out for like the fun cookies and the hot chocolates and things like that. They usually have a lot of really nice floral displays and greeneries at Trader Joe's at this time of year. So let's go, let's go check it out and see what they have. I thought this was a really cool idea. The Trader Joe's Hostess gift bag for $14.99. It's a plant. It comes already in a bag. Very easy to buy if you're going somewhere for a Hostess gift already pre-packaged. And here's all the goodies, all the things that you would expect. Dark chocolate peppermint cookies, peppermint bark, truffles, chocolate covered pretzels. Here's the gummies, Scandinavian tidings, candy cane flavored JoJo's,
This looked really cool to me. This taste test of caramels. That's a great gift box for someone if you know they love caramels. dark chocolate covered shortbread cookies, dark chocolate mint cookies. Oh, and samples are back at Trader Joe's. Yay! This was a cinnamon brioche bread. Delicious. So my Trader Joe's does not sell alcoholic beverages and wine. We just don't have that in our state, but they did have some sparkling beverages like this sparkling Chardonnay grape juice. Here's another one, this sugar plum sparkling beverage. And then this one looked cool, sparkling pomegranate punch. And this comes in a little box and it's four individual cans. They had some felted wool garland, a couple of cute wreaths. And I thought this was super cute. They have like a little cat toy. And this is something I hadn't seen before. They had some bath and body products and a 12 day advent calendar, 12 days of beauty. This looked like a really cool gift. Okay, so this is my Trader Joe's haul. Some of the things I bought are going to be gifts and stocking stuffers, so I'm not showing those things, but these are the other things I bought that I can show. So for treats and candy, I got these Scandinavian Tidings. So usually Trader Joe's has some kind of seasonal gummy. I bought the Halloween one around Halloween, and now these are the Christmas ones. Star shape, tree shape, really cute. We also got the fruit jellies. These are not seasonal. They have these all the time. We already started eating them, as you can see. These are so good. Delicious. I got some spaghetti sauce, the three cheese, and the roasted garlic. These are some of my favorite spaghetti sauces. Trader Joe's hot cocoa mix. This is like a packet. Hot chocolate mix, so good. My favorite. Um... And then this I've never tried before from Trader Joe's. I'm getting this for the first time. Spanish style rice. It comes with two microwavable pouches. I thought that might be good to have for dinner, my daughter and I. And then the chicken fried rice. This is also a nice little easy meal for the nights that I don't feel like cooking. And the Trader Joe's mango chunks, frozen mango chunks. These are the best mango chunks anywhere. Better than Dole or whatever you can get in your regular supermarket. I use this for smoothies mostly, but we also just sometimes eat them just by themselves. And that's everything I bought. So now I'm going to go around my house and try to start putting away some of my fall theme decor. I already brought out my kitchen dish towels for Christmas. I'm putting away the fall stuff. So I'm going to start doing that around the house.
took me days to clean up and get my house back together after Thanksgiving. I had a lot of dishes to wash. I had to straighten my dining room back up. I have a lot of things I use at Thanksgiving like china and some delicate platters and serving pieces that don't go in the dishwasher so I had to hand wash everything, dry everything, put everything away. My dining room table is small so I had like a second dairy table set up and I had to put that away, got all the tablecloths off, wash, cloth napkins, all of that stuff. So it took a long time just to get my house back in some semblance of normal order. But, um, but it was a lot of fun and it's a lot of work hosting a holiday, but I love it. I love having it at my house because everybody comes here and I don't have to go anywhere. And that is kind of nice. At the end of the night, I'm already home. That's awesome. And it, it was a lot of fun having my daughter home from college. So that was awesome. And we were joking around, like we felt like we were those people in like one of those commercials where the daughter comes home and everybody hugs and we're sipping hot chocolate and like chatting on the couch together. <laughs> and we really did do that. We had a lot of family time, a lot of, you know, togetherness. And it was really a lot of fun. I really had a great weekend. And like I showed, I did go out and do Black Friday shopping in the morning. So I have a shopping plaza near me that's one of those outdoor shopping centers with like the Target and the Kohl's and the Old Navy where you, everything's outdoors. And I did that early, like around 9, 10 in the morning, kind of got a couple things done. And then later in the afternoon, my daughter and I went to the mall near us. So, and that was like a little later in the day, like around 1 o'clock. Now, I wouldn't say it was super crazy busy. It was busier than a normal mall weekend. So you could tell like, you know, Black Friday kind of increased the crowds a bit, but I wouldn't say it was like insane. I'm actually glad to see the malls busy because I want the malls to stay in business. I don't want to see any more store closures. We've already lost so many good stores that I love, Bed Bath & Beyond and some others, and um, I don't want to see any more closures. So I kind of like see the malls being busy as a good thing. And I grew up in the 80s in the heyday of malls, so I love malls. So being able to go into Macy's and some of the bigger department stores and just, you know, the sights and the sounds and the Christmas music and all of that, I love it at Christmas time. So we did get a few things done there. And now I'm gearing up for Christmas and trying to get as much shopping done as possible and like thinking ahead now to the next holiday we're going to have and what we're going to be doing between now and then. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoyed their week. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please like, please subscribe, drop a comment below and say hi. I'd love to get to know who my subscribers are. Tell me how your Thanksgiving was and how your shopping is going. Are you a person that likes to get everything done early and have your shopping done or are you like putting it off until it gets closer to Christmas? Have a great week guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!